again. We're really. So okay. tell me how you found F5. Okay. So uh, F5 came to my came to my attention after a few evaluations of uh, some other solutions. Uh, we look at brocade, we look at semantic, and and not, nothing came came close to what F5 can do. Um, simply the non-disruptive uh, migration, it totally caught my eyes. I haven't heard of anything like that before, and that was totally amazing. I don't need to schedule any downtime uh, to, to move data around. Um, it's unheard of, and I'm getting excited. So tell me about that. What, when you went to install the F5 solution, tell me about the installation period. How did it go? Okay. Um, F5 uh, ARX solution is, is not uh, something that I'm familiar with. And uh, the, the culture of uh, American Suzuki is if you don't know how to do it, it's okay that we can either get training or we can have a uh, consultant come in and uh, help us on that. So we, so we pick it later because we just want to get it done quickly. Right? So F5 consultant f you know, flew in and uh, there was, I think in my opinion, the most professional way of doing uh, consulting. He came in, we shake hand, he said, okay, can you show me the boxes? Can you show me the appliances? I was, okay, that's pretty efficient. I like it that way. So let's go and take a look at the, the data center. And he quickly pulled his laptop out of his bag and while saying hi, how is it going, uh, he's already configuring the, the, the appliances. And no time wasted. In about a few hours, we're totally up and running. Wow. I'm going to ask you that again because we had noise, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So right. um, I, I love that story. <laughs> Tell me about how F5 was during the installation process. Stand by. Hold on, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Okay. So tell me how F5 worked during the installation process. So the installation was done by F5 professional services. And the engineer flew in. We quickly do some handshaking, introduce ourselves. And while talking, he pulled up his laptop, get a console cable, hook up to the device, and he was configuring it. In a few hours, we're up and running. It was quick and efficient. Wow. And tell me where, which product did you get? I guess it was ARX 500. Where, and where did you put it in the network? And what does it do? Um, ARX 500 uh, was introduced to the network uh, to virtualize the unstructured data environment. Um, Let's say you all your Excel spreadsheet, or your Word document, or your uh, pictures, or your um, files that you usually go to your your drive, double click on it, open it up, those kind of thing. Um, ARX sits in between your storage, where you can really find the files and the, the end users. So you will seamlessly uh, virtualize your file share environment with its own index and, and then present to the users uh, in any way you want it. For example, you have, uh, you have a share called Suzuki IT. Uh, before, before ARX, people look at one share. Behind ARX, it could be 10 different locations combined into a single share for the users to access the files. And this is, how, this is how powerful it is. So tell me what improved after you put ARX in. What were some of the things that were better, like backup and being able to add storage, seamless and so forth? What were some of the advantages that you uh, experienced? Um, it's about cost savings. Um, it's either hard cost or soft cost. Right. You, you save a lot of time in backup, uh, uh, in, in a backup environment. 
Uh, for example, I used to spend 18 hours to back up uh, 2.4 terabyte of data. Um, right now, it takes me about three and a half, four hours top to pick up everything. Um, performance, for example. Uh, we know that uh, file share uh, or in a storage environment is all about spindles. The more spindles that you can introduce, the faster it goes. So, hold on a second. We'll stop tape for a minute. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Can't wait till we hear the door slam. <laughs> 